Hello, I'm Mr. Allen and I'm the physics teacher here at Durham Sixth Form Centre. We teach the AQA specification of the physics A-level and that is spread over two years of studying. The assessment for the qualification is, is at the end of the course and constitutes three two hour long exam papers and those exam papers will dictate your grade for the A-level. Alongside that will sit something called a practical endorsement and that is either a pass fail in the practical endorsement and that's an assessment of the practical skills and abilities that you've built up over those two years. That endorsement is teacher assessed and just involves the accumulation of evidence over the two years that you can carry out a certain amount of practical work to a certain standard and it's based along 12 required practical activities set out by AQA. The three exam papers cover the, the content of the course, the theoretical content, and those topics will be familiar to you to a certain extent from GCSE. Familiar things like um, mechanics and waves and electricity will get covered again, but in more detail. We'll also introduce some new bits of theory, specifically particle physics, and then into year 13, completely new stuff such as nuclear physics and gravitational electric fields. And then right at the end of the course, there's an optional topic, which we've have picked um, the turning points in physics, which sums up the key moments in the development of physics theories over the, over the years. And it links very nicely into, with some of the core content. Over the course of the two years, alongside learning the theory and the, and the physics of, of the course, um, a key part of the teaching and learning that goes on is about skill development. And this, this covers all sorts of different things, but one key, key area of development is your ability to study differently, which will be required to, to cope with uh, the content. Um, an emphasis on organisation of your own study, we're going to develop you into an, uh, um, someone who can problem solve and pay close attention to detail. And ultimately, over the course of those two years, you're going to need to show a certain amount of resilience when it comes to kind of meeting the challenges of the course and a kind of evidence that can do attitude. And if you can do that and, and kind of um, work with the things that we set out in the course, you'll probably be able to achieve a, a very pleasing result at the end. And our 2019 results, um, our most recent exam results, show that we've had great success um, in the end of year assessments, consistently performing above the national average in terms of grade distributions and at the top end and at the lower end as well. So I hope to see you in September and um, until then, thank you very much.